Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exciting episode of The Wild Gamer Appears. This, uh, I, I kinda, you know, I know, I stopped doing videos again, and this video isn't kind of me a coming back video, this is a video I've been planning on doing for a while, and I just sort of, you know, got caught up with work, oops, there goes the rolling battery, <laughs> Got kind of got caught up with work. I ended up going on a vacation out to California to relax. And, um, you know, I've been... I didn't really felt like playing any of the games I was playing at the time. I kind of fell out of Shovel Knight, which is sad because that game should be pretty much almost done by now. And I should have that video series done by now. But the thing that was getting me to getting to me the most was Resident Evil 4. And this is actually what this video is about. This video is about why well, I'm not going to finish Resident Evil 4. You can kind of say this is a post-mortem about my decision about this game not being worth playing anymore. And, yeah, this game isn't worth playing anymore for an audience because of how much I was complaining about the, the frame rate drop. Now, pretty much this computer, not, this isn't bragging, this is a thousand dollar computer. It's got about, it's got an eight core processor, it's about 12 gigs of RAM. It's got a, uh, what was it, a three or four gigabyte uh, video driver, video card I mean. And I know I see a lot of these other YouTube uh, people out there with massive machines, like ungodly amounts of money was put into these machines, but this computer is still pretty top of the line. Put this thing together and it's it's pretty measly. There's no reason why Resident Evil 4 should have been playing the way it was. You know, all those running fraps. Even one running fraps. Because when I first started this channel a few years ago, I was using a $500 machine that could run Crisis and still fraps at the same time, no problem. There's no reason why Resident Evil 4 should be as bad as it is when I'm recording fraps. And the only thing I can come to a conclusion is that it's a bad port. Resident Evil 4 was a great game on the GameCube, PlayStation 2, whatever HD remakes they did on the other on the consoles. It is a blinding piece of shit on the PC. Okay. This game came out originally on the GameCube. God knows when. I, I haven't looked up the stats in a while. I'm sure early, mid-2000s or something like that. It was a little late in the GameCube's lifeline, if I remember correctly. It was one of the last need-to-have games for that console. And it was great. It was a great console game. It was a great GameCube game. It, it looked very well. It was very well polished. And I really loved it. But this PC port is a horrible piece of shit. I mean, just looking at the, the options menu for that game, should, like in my, early, my first video, should have shown you that there was something wrong to begin with. And I should have realized that. And I almost wish I could get my money back on that game. Okay, HD texture quality wasn't even worth it. It was like a barely noticeable difference to me. And the other glaring thing that really pissed me off was the lack of a god audio slider. I mean, come on! What PC game doesn't have an audio slider? And I saw some people say like, oh, well, you know, it's supposed to increase the immersion. You shouldn't be really able to change the audio settings on a horror game. Bullshit! You should be able to change the audio settings on any PC game. Okay? That game, and the frame rate on that game, I could tell it was locked. Not just when I was recording Fraps and I saw the frame rate drop like crazy, but when I wasn't recording but still had Fraps on, that game it never went above 60 frames per second. And I know there's a lot of people out there lately who's saying, you know, that shouldn't make a difference. You know, you don't pick up on that bullshit. You totally pick up on it, especially... When it comes to a game when it requires you to shoot things. When you need to shoot something, you want the utmost responsive input and also output from the game, which is the frame rate. 
Not only is it the audio, but the frame rate is the output into your eyes on how you perceive this game. And if the game is not outputting properly, you're going to have a bad time. Sorry for the bad South Park internet meme, but anyways... As you can see, it's got me pretty upset. I love that game on the GameCube. I was damn terrible at it on the GameCube, but I love that game. But it comes out on the PC. Barely any visual modifications you can make through the options menu. Very minimal video options. No audio options at all. And not only that, there was something very unusual about the control scheme with you using a keyboard and mouse. Now, I know that game was built to be used by a controller, but there was something really off about using the mouse and keyboard. It was like, when I was running, it would shift the camera angle, but I wanted to start aiming. And when I started aiming, it had me put in a position that I wasn't really expecting at all. Which re resulted in taking damage when it was completely unnecessary times. So, I'm deciding not to play this game anymore. At least for frapping, or at least for my YouTube channel, I really, I can't put out that kind of video. Yeah, I, I've got like no views, and I've got no viewership, whatever, but that is, I can't put that out anymore. And that makes me think, I've seen, I've seen and heard things about Capcom video games being ported to the PC, and they just being terrible. For the love of God, Capcom, you have been a video game maker. You've been in the industry for years. And that's some complete cock and bullshit that you should not be getting away with. You have taken, I guess you can say more of a teenage, mid, you know, young adult. You took one of my favorite games of the past and you ruined it on PC. Ruined it. Now, I'm not very good. I'm not very articulate, as you can tell. I mean, I, I'm just doing this all on the fly. I've been thinking about doing this video for a long time, but I have no script. I have nothing written down to go off, and this is kind of hard. And I wish I could make more of an intelligence, but come on. You know, the beginning of the game was great, but I had noticed frame rate issues coming out of loading sections. It was like the game wasn't catching up right. And, you know, it wasn't a bad issue because it would usually go away. But then the rain starts happening... And granted, I know particles can cause, you know, a bit of more of a burden on the processing and everything, but come on! A freaking, probably older than 10-year-old game should be dominated by this machine. Okay. So, in conclusion, Resident Evil 4 originally was great. PC port, POS. Don't buy it. If you already bought it, my condolences. I apologize. I may try to finish the game up on my free time, but other than that, I am done with that. So let me go on to my next phase here. Is that I'm going to finish up Shovel Knight because I damn love that game. I just started getting bored. I have the attention span of a five-year-old. I'm sorry, but I need to finish that game. It was great. And I am going to be starting up a new game. just came out recently. Everyone's already been playing it. But, you know, I like the concept after watching some people play it. And I decided that, ah, you know, I'd like to give it a shot. I'd like to give it a go. So, uh, expect some more videos coming out real soon. Um, I'm going to put some Resident Evil 4 in the background for this, just for shits and giggles. Um, but yeah, no, done with Resident Evil. I, I'm sorry to probably my friend Ben, who was probably, he, who liked watching it a little bit. Uh, but the PC version sucks. Don't buy it. Enjoy it. Go back, get another GameCube, or get a freaking used Wii. Go get some old GameCube stuff online. Buy it there. You probably still have your Resident Evil 4 game. What am I saying? But, yeah. Do not get the PC version. My name is The Wild Gamer Pierce. Thanks for listening to my rant, and you guys have a lovely day.